First at 5 o'clock, several bills that would impact school board elections are making their way through the state house. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Griffin. And I'm Mark Mullins. Up to this point in Indiana school board elections, they've been nonpartisan, but that could change. Lawmakers are considering a bill that would require school board candidates to declare a political affiliation, and that could affect how schools operate. WRTV State House reporter Meredith Hackler joins us now to explain how this legislation could impact your school district. Meredith. Yeah, Mark Nicole, over the last few years, interests in school board races and the decisions they make have become a hot topic. From COVID protocols to curriculum, parents are paying closer attention, and lawmakers are too. There are a number of bills working their way through the State House right now that address school board elections. Senate Bill 188 would require school board candidates to declare a political affiliation. One political expert I talked to said that this is something the legislature has tried before, but the bill failed. Those who support this legislation say it would allow more voices to be heard, but the political expert I spoke with says it could do the opposite. School boards have had a lot of controversies over the last several years. There's a lot more attention focused on them, but by creating it in a partisan manner, and invariably, I think you're going to see more conflict and more disagreement um, than you necessarily would without them. And Meredith, along with what you just discussed there, there's also legislation that could change who can run for school boards. And right now, that's different than any other race. Yeah, absolutely. So, Nicole, for any other office that is politically affiliated, they need to be determined and nominated by their party. But in school board races, really anybody can run, and it's kind of free game. If candidates have to start being nominated, the expert I spoke with said it would create more barriers for people wanting to run. Make it significantly harder. Uh, you would be increasing barriers, adding uh, more challenges and more um, hoops, essentially, to jump through in the process if you decided to run. All of these bills are still in committee and many of them are still waiting for a hearing. So far, the only bill to receive a hearing with testimony has been Senate Bill 188, which would require candidates to declare a political affiliation. So far, it hasn't passed. Mark, Nicole. Meredith Heckler in studio for us tonight. Meredith, thank you. A complicated issue here. The Indiana School Boards Association has testified against the bill requiring school board candidates to declare a political affiliation. They didn't have time to go on camera with us today, but issued this statement reading in part quote, we are concerned that partisan school board elections would further divide communities instead of bringing people together to focus on what's best for children, end quote. 